Yo, what up Tube, it's Jack Spade. In this video, I'm gonna take you on a virtual tour of my studio. I get a lot of people asking me about what kind of equipment I use, so I'm gonna break it down for you right now. So here it is, man. This is the studio, man. I love it. Love being in here, making music. Um, it's not the most expensive studio in the world, and it don't really need to be, you know, because um, I have everything I need and everything works. So the desk is just an Ikea desk. I think I got it for about 35, 40 bucks, pretty cheap. And um, I got my office chair from Office Depot for about 60 bucks. It was on sale, pretty comfortable. The brains of the operation is a 2014 MacBook Pro, uh, 2.2 gigahertz Intel Core i7 with 16 gigs of RAM. And even though it's a 2014, it's still a beast. I got it off eBay for about 950. It easily handles music production and I can do some video editing. I have a Logitech keyboard. It's better than an Apple keyboard to me and it's a lot cheaper. It's wireless and it has that number pad. I also have a wireless Logitech mouse and it's pretty basic, but um, it's pretty good. I like it. This is my colorful orb. I use it to set the mood and conjure up some spirits. <laughs> a little Halloween humor for you. This right here is a Focusrite 2i2. It's been out for a minute, but uh, it's been working and I, I don't see any reason to really upgrade. I like the quality, especially when I combine it with my Focusrite ISA1. This is a really good preamp. And if you're looking to upgrade your sound, I recommend that you upgrade the preamp first because that's where you'll see the biggest difference. The mic I use is a Blue Microphone Spark. And if you wanna hear how that sounds, you're actually listening to it right now. Combined with the preamp, it's real clear and uh, pretty warm. I also have a SE Electronic Reflection Filter X portable vocal booth. It's only 99 bucks right now and um, it does help with some of the echoes. I got some really cheap audio foam from Amazon and I'm not sure if it's really helping, but it looks cool. I love these headphones right here. I have the uh, Audio-Technica M50X. They sound dope, super dope headphones and I got them in white so they look extra glossy. This right here is a PreSonus fader port. It's a motorized fader and it helps you mix. It's pretty cool when in the mixing stage. I use it in Logic. I don't use it as much as I thought I would, but it's still pretty dope. My studio monitors are the Mackie MR5 Mark II. These are discontinued, and I think they're on like Mark IV right about now, so they're pretty old. And I probably need to upgrade very soon because the tweeter blew out, and it still seems to work for the most part, but every once in a while, the tweeter will have static and I'll have to mix in the headphones. This right here is the Complete Control S49 keyboard. This is the older version. It's pretty cool. I don't use it as much as I thought I would, but I do use it for the chord sets and to bring up NI instruments. But to be honest, I'm thinking about selling it. Okay, so my monitor is a LG 29 inch ultra wide IPS monitor. I love having an ultra wide monitor. I can see everything on the screen at once and it's just so much real estate. The best part is I got it on sale at Best Buy. I think it was like 180. Unfortunately, it's about 250 right now. The DAW that I use is Ableton Live 9 and I love it. I make beats in Ableton Live 9 and I record in Logic, but I'm gonna start actually recording into Ableton Live and see how that works. And that brings me to the Push 2, which I love to death. It's the perfect thing for me to make beats on. Um, I just love all the features and how it integrates with Ableton Live 9. If you use Live already, then I think it's a no-brainer if you can afford it. You should get it. It's super dope. You won't regret it. Now those cool lights in the background are just some LED lights that I got off of Amazon. They look pretty dope, and you can actually set it to cycle through all of the colors with this little remote right here. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this studio tour. Like and subscribe, comment below, and let me know what type of videos you'd like to see in the future. One.